Oh yes, I have plumbed for another light gun shooter here on the PlayStation. And uh, the sequel to Point Blank. Point Blank 2. Would you have it? <laughs> this has got a lovely little cutscene sequence here at the beginning. Very fun. Very jolly. Just like the first game. Well, when I say just like the first game, it is just like the first game, but bloody harder. In fact, not bloody harder. A lot bloody harder. There we go. Old Dr. Don and Dr. Dan make their appearances again. This is... Well, you know, the age-old phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's basically the same set-out as uh, Point Blank 1. Well, the arcade mode is, ex anyway. A few little minor changes, and, of course, all the games are different. Over 70 different games in this one. Wow. So that's impressive. There's plenty to get on with and do. Um... But the first thing you've got to do, this has got plenty more modes as well. In fact, it's got loads of loads of different play modes, unlike the first game. So there we go. So you've got this little lovely little menu thing where you point the gun at and choose what you want. Training mode and party mode. And options speak for themselves. Point Blank Castle is where the arcade mode is. Theme Park mode is a story-based mode uh, where you have different games. Which are vastly different, actually, from the main game. Party mode for multiplayer. We have face offs and versus modes and stuff like that. Pretty good fun. And again, training mode speaks for itself. If you've played the first game, and you'll be very familiar with the interface. Hey, you can shoot the bastards. <laughs> hey! Oh well, I've missed him. Anyway, let's get on with it. <laughs> Shooting the guys in the balloons. So the arcade mode is uh, very similar to the old arcade mode, but like I said, there's certain graphical changes, game changes, I see, that's very familiar there. And the games themselves are just generally harder, um, and more varied as well, you, you get you get to use sound in this as well, of course. And you see, the same set out, familiar, choose your game, we'll go for the mice first with some very annoying music if I remember <laughs> clockwork mice again just like the first game it's all just very good fun very innocent no blood and guts cartoons clockwork toys roller coasters all that kind of gubbins and it's just so innocent and it's so fun at the same time as well as bloody challenging Ooh. Don't hit the bombs. Look at them little bastards hiding behind the bombs. And you get this sort of end, end sequence now, which is a bit of a pity actually, because I prefer the uh, the old um, judgment screen. This one you get Dr. Don and Dr. Dan's faces with a bit of a funky sort of tune in the background. Uh, what well, shall we go for? We'll go for the. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. The roller coaster one. Again, hit your targets you've been told to do. Time limits, bullet limits, the same, but just harder. Look, I mean, look, you can see it's harder because the targets are smaller, they're hidden behind the blue targets. Ooh, that was nice. I do find this game harder than the, the first one. Nice. Oh, you see, that's a good tactic there to wait until they sort of bend. Um, around a corner and they separate on that game. Like I said, there's so many games in this. A lot, I don't know. Maybe more than the first game. More than likely. And there's some interesting sort of... Um, how should I put it? Variations of what you need to do. Sometimes there's a lot... It's a, it's a departure away from the shoot everything and sort of like survive kind of thing. A lot more of them are a little bit more planned, strategic. You have to think about what you're doing. I mean, look at that unusual time limit. 13 second time limit. Shoot all these cardboard cutout bad guys, but if you keep banging away, banging away, you've got to be careful because there's a hostage there, see? Bang! Got you, sunshine. Remember the first time I played that game, I just literally went ballistic. 
and shot the hostage at the end, which results in a lost life, clearly. Excellent represent uh, re Ooh, get me words right. Excellent reproduction here on the PlayStation. 1999. So, year or two after the first came out. This is a good one. In weightless environment, you just have to keep the can afloat. It's a very nice use of weightless physics here. And of course, the more you shoot the can, the smaller it gets because it gets more and more, more um, well, fucked up. There we go. There is the obligatory one-shot games in this. Rapid-fire games as well, of course. There's also a very, well, quite hard um, game where you've got to match the sounds to the animals and the stuffed toys. Not the stuffed toy game from the first game. So we're going to go for that one. This one's uh, this one's tricky because you've really got to get your eyes open here. Only shoot the, the guys with the guns. So bang bang. You know what I mean? <laughs> Criminals holding flowers and presents and and a sign saying "Don't shoot." As you can see, quick, very quick. This is standard setting as well. Medium sort of hardness setting. You can imagine how hard it is when you play the, the top level, the insane level. Which is the same as the very hard games from the first game. There we go, you can see it flashing there. Insane. Nice little tunes as well. Again, this is a nice game. This is based off the endurance game where you've got to get hit the targets in in order. So again, it's not it's not just blast away mindlessly. You th think about what you're doing. So it's a good progression from the first game. Um, it may be... Oh, I missed that one. Shit. Missed two there. But I sure got the target. Yes, I did get the target. Yeah, like I was saying, it's um, a good progression from the first game. The premise is the same. The style is, is the same. But uh, you do have to think about these games more. You have to plan your route more. Uh, what ones you you can think you can achieve easier? This is the the criminal ones are significantly harder. There's more hostages that get in your way. There's more obstacles. Generous time limit on this one. Look at them tiny targets in the cars there, and to differentiate them between the hostages takes practice. Ooh, oh, bloody hell! I nearly got her. Just missed her. Oh, in the bus, yeah, in the bus, yeah, and they all start popping up at the end here, which is a bit weird. Cleared. Dang, 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 dang. Better funky, better funky town. Doctor Don, Doctor Nan, they're so Muppets, aren't they? I mean, they literally are. Insane. Here we go. Point Blank 2's version of the very hard games from the first, like I've already said. 29 red targets in 20 seconds. That's more than a shot a second. Ooh. This is like a whack-a-mole kind of thing. Oh, missed two there. Oh, missed another one. Oh, missed more. Oh, crap. I'm fucking it up. Oh, I missed loads. Oh, dear me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, just. Well, I say just. I actually did better than I thought there. I thought I really screwed that one up. So. Perfectly works with the Namco uh, G Con. Ah, the bonus stage. Yes, slightly different from the first bonus stage in the first game. They don't, they're not floating in water. They're on a, a big wheel, a Ferris wheel. Shit, again, shoot one of the chests. Pop. Oh, I've done it again! <laughs> Got the heart and the coins, the top one you can get. Excellent. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. That was a bit of luck. So one of the chests will be nothing in it. One will just be the life, one will just be the coins. So, 
but I got the top draw. The top dollar. Uh, where shall we go now? Sod it. Go for that. Mm. <laughs> this can be difficult. I think if I do this, I'll wrap it up. Shoot these barrels and keep them away from Dr. Don. Or is that Dr. Dan? Yeah, the shorter one's Dr. Dan, isn't it? Difficult because they, they require multiple shots to, to, to go away. You can get lucky, they can pass by him. Ooh. Sugar. You miss, you in big trouble. No! Ooh! Oh, oh, he missed it! Two, three, four, five! five. Oh, did that miss? Oh, and I've cleared it as well. <laughs> well, that was quite good. So, that's that. It's Point Blank 2 by Namco, 1999, on the PlayStation 1. Lovely little game, fantastic, fucking hard as hell, but an adequate sequel to the first game. And there we go. Thanks for watching this NRG. Nova Bug, out.